In this screencast, I'm going to talk about solving linear equations uh, with a couple special cases. Typically when we solve a linear equation, we're looking for just one solution. We want to know the value of the variable that makes a statement true. Sometimes we encounter a couple of different situations, and those are the examples I'm going to talk about here. As a general rule, what I teach my class is, is that before you do anything else, you should fully simplify each side of the equation. So on the left-hand side here, there's nothing to do. 4x plus 5 is fully simplified. However, on the right-hand side, I can distribute 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now each side is fully simplified. Now the variable appears on both sides of this equation. So I need to get rid of it from one of the sides. So to, if I want to get it from the right-hand side, I'd subtract 4x. If I want to get rid of it from the left-hand side, I'm going to subtract 4x. So either way, I'm subtracting 4x from both sides of the equation. As I do that, 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. On the right-hand side, 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 minus 16 is negative 16. At this step in the process, you, sh you should realize that you've lost your variable. Your variable has disappeared. What I advise students to do in this case is first go back and check your work. Make sure you didn't make a mistake. Did I distribute correctly? Did I miss a sign? Did I subtract? Is that right? Was I supposed to add? Was I supposed to subtract? Think through all these things. Did you subtract correctly? Now, once you realize that you haven't made a mistake, then you need to make a decision. If you've got no variable, you've got a constant equal to a constant. Either you have a true statement or a false statement. It should be a pretty easy decision to make. In this case, it's false. 5 is not equal to negative 16, and it's never equal to negative 16. So in this case, what this means in terms of the equation, in terms of what x can be, is that there are no solutions. You'll often see the empty set symbol written, meaning... The solution set is the empty set. Again, in terms of x, what that actually means is that there's no value for x that will make this work. It's not 5, it's not negative 16, it's not anything. And it's impossible to find a value of x to make this a true statement. It doesn't matter what number you would substitute in for x, it will never work. The left-hand side will never be equal to the right-hand side. If you wanted, you could try it with any number and you would never get a solution that works. So, to summarize this situation, you're solving a linear equation, and you simplify each side, you get to a point where your variable disappears. Uh, when that happens, after you've checked your work, if it's a false statement, like 5 being equal to negative 16, clearly false, that means that equation has no solutions, or the solution set is the empty set. Here's another example. Again, it's a linear equation. The first thing I want to deal with is simplifying each side as much as, I, as much as I can. So it looks like I've got some like terms to simplify over here. 3x minus 9x, negative 6x, 8 minus 2, it's a positive 8, and a negative 2. That combines to be a positive 6. On the right-hand side, I'm going to distribute the negative 3 negative 3 times 2, negative 6x, negative 3 times negative 2. So however you distribute here, whatever your teachers taught you, uh, I know some teachers will teach you to uh, make this plus negative 2 and then distribute it. However you think about it, you should come to the realization this is going to be plus 6 when you distribute a negative 3. Okay, so each side is fully simplified. Now right away a lot of people are going to realize they have the exact same thing on both sides. Um, and so that should tell you that what you do next when you add 6x to both sides, even if, if you need to do this step, some of you may not need to do this, but if you add 6x to both sides, your variable is going to disappear. And you end up with 6x being equal, or I'm sorry, you end up with 6 being equal to 6 with no variable. So similar to the last problem, okay, when your variable is gone, I suggest you go back and check your work. Did I combine like terms correctly? Did I get my signs right? Did I distribute correctly? Did I get my signs right? Check these things over. Did you do the right operations? Uh, did you add correctly? 
Looks like I did, so 6 is equal to 6. So the variable's gone. Now, uh, unlike the previous problem where uh, 5 and negative 16 were not equal, here 6 is always equal to 6. Again, should be a fairly obvious deduction. 6 is always equal to 6. So a very different situation than the previous problem. What this means is, is that there are infinitely many solutions. Uh, more specifically, x can be any real number. Again, what do I mean by that? You can pick any number you want for x. It could be positive, it could be negative, it could be a fraction, um, it could be rational, it could be irrational. Any number that's substituted in for x in this initial equation will make it will work. It'll be a true statement. Because really, it's the same thing in the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So a term that our textbook uses is identity meaning this is an identity equation meaning it's it's you know identity mean meaning self uh, it's the same thing so to summarize if you solve an equation your variable disappears you end up with a number being equal to itself a true statement and after you go back and check your work and you're confident you've done things correctly what this means is that x can be any real number uh, and a common answer that we'll put is identity. All right, I hope this helps you solve uh, these two special cases of linear equations.